are visiting master tattoo artist Rocky McAfee at his tattoo parlor in Kamloops, BC. Today we're going to look at an old tattoo of mine and revamp it, possibly even create a new one. Come on, let's go inside. When you are thinking about getting a tattoo, be sure on the design you want and where you want it on your body because it is permanent. When I do a tattoo, I know that I'm going to, it's, it's going to be there for the rest of that person's life and it, it's obviously created by myself. So I do 110% on every piece that I do. We sit down and we talk about the tattoo or the design that they want to get. and. Um, it's very important that we, we have this connection because if we can't get on the same page uh, in order to create that, that uh, magnum opus, that magnificent piece of art, we just can't, it just isn't gonna happen. So we've got to be on the same wavelength. You know, I've never been a harsh critic when it comes to people's art. If they want something, I'll work with them. Uh, if it's something that I put, wouldn't put on my body or I think is not really going to look that great, I'm very careful on how I tell them because uh, some people, I mean, everybody has different types and different styles of art. What I might think is goofy or great, they may think the opposite. So I just work with them and if we need to make changes, we can customize it, we can make all those changes. Sometimes in my mind, I just, I just go back into the archives of my mind and I go, okay, how's this gonna work? Well, I did my first tattoo when I was 12 years old on a fellow and it was done by, with needle and Indian ink. I did that in the basement of my parents' home, unbeknownst to them. Um, but when I was 15, I ended up getting my first tattoo and I fell in love with the whole process. And I had been doing uh, art in class in school. I picked it up. I'm self-taught because in the day when I was starting to learn there were very few shops that would, that would apprentice anybody and you had to know them or it would be a brother or sister. You couldn't just walk in off the street with your portfolio and try to get someone to train you. It just it was a very closely guarded secretive uh, trade at the time. usually have their design figured out by then and then we'll go through the stenciling process where we'll apply the stencil and put that on and once the client uh, acknowledges that that's what they want if they don't want any changes then I make them comfy in the chair and then we proceed with the, the tattoo. Well what I do is I make sure that the station is very clean uh, wash my hands and then I take out all the instruments that I need, the tattoo guns, the needles, the tubes, lay it all out and I make sure the customer's sitting with me so they can see that they're getting new needles, everything is disposable today. The way, the way a tattoo is applied is we use, we use electric tattoo machines some of them are rotary and some of them are re reciprocating and <clears throat> it acts kind of like a almost like a sewing machine where the needle will, will penetrate the skin perforate the skin and 
A lot of people think that the needle actually pushes the ink in, but these are solid needles. They're not like hypodermic needles. Once the needle perforates and makes a hole, gravity actually pulls the ink in from the, the needle tube. The needle actually penetrates the epidermis, which is the skin, and it goes into the dermis. When I first started, I mean, we, we used to hand make our own needles. Today, you can, all needles are mass produced and you can buy them all pre-sterilized. Um, all, all the designs now are, are we do photorealism. We, do, we can basically tattoo any, anything that a person wants or can dream up or think of. Uh, the safety issue, everything's regulated really tightly by the health department. So that's really uh, a good thing for customers and clients coming in. When you first apply to get a business license, the health department has to come through and check your shop out from top to bottom and make sure that you're up to the safety standards. Creating a painting on a canvas is very different than creating artwork on the human body. Well, skin, skin is obviously not like paper because it stretches, um, some, some of it's thick skin, some of it's wrinkly skin. You have to keep skin really tight. Yeah, the darker skin people, um, you can actually use light colors, whites and yellows and oranges. They, they just absorb into the melanin of the skin. So on darker skin people, it's better to use blacks, dark browns. Um, you can use dark greens, things like that. On fair, fair skin people, then basically any color will show up and sometimes they just really, really look super bright, but it's on the whiter skin. It's the background of the uh, color of the skin that radiates the color. When I'm doing a tattoo, um, I, I, get, I get right into it and I just, um, I'm one of those people that I can work with pressure. I don't usually have to think about what I'm doing. I just, I'll ask the client if they have any um, requests on how they want their tattoo done. And if they give me free reign, then I just go crazy. And I'll just put in whatever I feel at that moment. I just, uh, I'm good with colors. I've been doing it for years. And yeah, I just let the creativity flow. I feel like I'm learning every day. I mean, there's new stuff coming out. And if you don't keep your mind open and grow with it, then you'll just get left behind because it's a very fast, rapidly developing industry. One that sticks out in my mind was a fellow, I uh, did his whole back. It took me 25 hours and it was a, it was a Siberian tiger on his back coming through uh, bamboo shoots. And it was all full color and it was, it was just a beautiful piece. But I do like doing pets and portraits and the realistic photorealism is what I like to do. But I have done everything and I don't limit myself to just one or two specialties. I like to do it all. Some tattoos can take five minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. That, that's what I would consider a small tattoo. If it's a major piece, a uh, large design, a portrait or something like that can take anywhere from two to five hours. When I, when I have a client in the chair, if I, f if I feel that they're maybe experiencing some sort of discomfort, I will always ask them if they want to take a break. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer that a person should know, never get a tattoo from a person that doesn't have a tattoo because there's no way they know what their client's feeling. And I think anybody that wants to be a tattoo artist should get tattooed. And that way they're gonna know exactly what their client's feeling so that their, their pain level will not exceed the, the part where they just get to the part where they can't handle it. And that's very important. After the tattoo artist has finished his work, the body art is not yet complete. Now, when a tattoo is completed, what I generally do is I wipe it down with an antibacterial soap, clean it up really good, 
and then I'll apply a coat of antibiotic like a polysporin, put that on and then I'll patch it up with teflopads or non-stick gauze and tape. After the aftercare for a tattoo is very important. If you don't look after the tattoo properly, then you're not going to have a very good looking tattoo. So you don't want to keep that bandage on more than about four to five hours because it needs air to get to and start to heal. And then from there, um, a good thing to do is just put lotion on there, an unscented lotion two or three times a day, rub it on. Uh, you can clean it in the shower. You don't want to soak it in hot tubs or bathtubs and just be very careful. And if it starts to scab up, then you just, you don't want to pick it. You just want to leave it naturally. And you also have to watch the sun. You don't want to be out in the sun with a brand new tattoo. My tattoos took time to create. The cover-up tattoo took one hour and the sword tattoo took four and a half hours to complete. The process does hurt and I had to take several breaks. Large tattoos can be like an endurance run, but they are worth it in the end. The art of tattooing has been going on for thousands of years. Ever since the Stone Age, people started tattooing for health reasons, decorative reasons, and sometimes to identify each other through different tribes. Tattoos today are forms of self-expression that people love to adorn themselves with, creating body art. The process is long and it is painful, but in the end you have a lifelong creative expression. I'm Carla Pierce and thanks for watching.